I'd like to introduce somebody who needs absolutely no introduction here in Columbia, South Carolina. Welcome him back to, uh, uh, to Columbia, uh, his wife Molly, Mila, and, and, and uh, Decker. Uh, excited to have Connor on board. You know, in this position, Marcus, when we hired him, he had expressed to me his desire to further his education in psychology. He's going to study abroad in, in Europe and, and uh, got a program that he's really excited about. He expressed to me that in December. That's felt like he, he wanted to do it at this time. And the first person that came into my mind was Connor Shaw, a guy that's the winningest quarterback in South Carolina history, uh, can relate with our players. Uh, we, we truly believe in outlets here for our players. Uh, I think we have as good a support off the field as anybody in the country. Uh, you, you talk in terms of Kristen Coggins and our nutrition program, and, you, and Paul Jackson talked about that the other day. Uh, you look at the, the story, uh, Gene Frenette from the Jacksonville newspaper that recently wrote about Hayden Hurst and our mental health department as far as Tim Malone and Rachel Sharp and the fantastic job that our training staff does to support our players. Reverend Jackson's a part of that, and now Connor is a huge part of that in our Beyond Football program, our life skills, and just being a mentor for our guys every day, live the life here at williams Bryce Stadium on this campus, and uh, really excited to have uh, Connor join our family. And Connor, go ahead and open up for you. <laughs> yeah, well, first, really happy for Marcus and Miranda. Uh, I know that's exciting for them. Anyone that knows Marcus understands the, the impact he's had on this program in this state. And I know that many more people will deeply benefit from him uh, earning his psychology degree. Uh, but I, I'm really excited to be back. I'm thankful to Coach Muschamp. I'm thankful to Coach Tanner for offering me a chance to return uh, to my alma mater. Uh, and really, it was kind of confirmed this past Sunday night in our first team meeting how much I really missed this type of environment. You know, Coach going through the goals and expectations, seeing guys take down notes, getting ready to work and compete. So I can't wait to be a part of their journey. Uh, but as excited as I am, you know, this is not about me. Uh, every guy in that locker room chose the University of South Carolina because they believed that they would be developed into outstanding football players, earn a great education, and leave here as mature and respectable men. So when I look at my role, career building, mental health, life skills, mentorship, you know, it certainly resonates with me. And to, to kind of dive deeper into that, you're looking at professional development, network, self-awareness, you know, helping them with decisions that set them up for success, and then developing a plan while they're student athletes at South Carolina. And that includes football. You know, I wouldn't want to compartmentalize football and everything else because we're going to use football to accomplish what they want to accomplish outside of ball. And so, you know, my first step is just to get to know the guys. Uh, the more I know them, the more I can help them. I'm not going to pretend like I'm some know-it-all that has all the answers. Uh, but what I, what I will offer is authentic feedback, open dialogue to whatever they feel like they need help with. And I do understand what they're going through, kind of how busy they are, what they're navigating through. And, um, you know, I can certainly offer some experience that I've had as a student athlete and then, you know, the NFL and then, you know, learning how to be a professional outside of football. Uh, but I'm really excited. 